Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It is Will. And Jose. We've been invited to stay on a farm for a day. It's actually going to be our very first farm stay. And for those of you that don't know what that means, <laughs> I guess I don't either. So we're going to learn as we go, but we're super excited. Exactly. We just want to thank Alkibi Farm for having us. So be ready to sit back, enjoy some s'mores with us, and some spooky ghost stories. Let's go. First, you're gonna walk through a cafe, Aguas Cafe, which is actually public. So anyone is available or able to come. It's open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can get anything from beverages or food while you're here. And there's also a wide array of beautiful seating that I would probably say looks more like of a Bali style. I've never been to Bali, but I would say this was closely resemble it because of the wood features and the bamboo and the way it's all built. But then, here we go for people that are staying on the premises at Alibi. Now we're making our way to the lodging. So there's little arrows, which we'll go to these places to show you. But we're gonna go to ours first. Oh, and they also have a little thing for you to dry your clothes and they provide sandals. Oh my gosh. All right guys, welcome to our home. Well, for at least one night. But anyway, it, this is considered a payag. It's literally the world's coolest treehouse. And the treehouse I knew I wanted, but could never get. And now we're here and we're loving it. And check this out. Guys, let's start with the bun. I mean, this is the first time ever that Will and I get some form of towel art. Guys, it's so <laughs> true. We've been dying to have this. We see in everybody else's vlogs, but we never get it. Yeah, we see elephants, we see bunnies, we see rabbits, we see, you know, a whole circus. We're looking so at you, Adriana. We'll take this beautiful lotus flower as a great welcoming uh, to our one night stay here. So you know when you're in the wilderness, the one thing that likes to get, no, you know what, before we even go there, let me show you what my favorite thing in this whole entire room is right now. Guys, I'm about to go play badminton with some mosquitoes. I don't think you guys understand how often I wish I had this thing. I could pretend like it's a lightsaber, or I guess be Serena Williams here, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, just call me Obi Will Kenobi. I am dripping in sweat because it's really toasty out today. But the great thing about this room is that it comes with a fan. So if it does get warm during the night, you can just go ahead and turn this little sucker on. This is the only fans I need. Nope. That was such a dad joke, <laughs> but like a cool dad. Not just any dad. Not just any dad, a cool but a dad. cool dad. It's me guys. They got hats, they have hats. Here, you got a cool hat here. You got this one for the dudes. Ooh. Or the dudes, I don't care. Let me put it on. Yeah. <laughs> We're so cool. Yeah. So cool. So cool. I'm ready to go see a horse race. Um, hello, have you seen my new car? <laughs> no, but I mean, let's be honest. The fact that they give you hats to wear, because it's, it, it's, the sun, like it's a nice gesture. It really is. So it's, they've really thought this place out. Another great feature about this room is that if you're just trying to strive to be a pop star like Lady Gaga, they have... That is the least correct... No. Don't shoot to be local, shoot to be global, which means shoot to be Britney. But anyway, I'm gonna get my William Mare on. Everybody knows, everybody knows, ah! Everybody knows, everybody knows, Everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody knows. 
knows Britney is a winner Gaga is a sinner I don't want to do anything no more Okay, we're done I would also like to point out for anybody that's like here's the open air and they get kind of nervous about it guys they have screen covering every inch of this place the ceiling the walls are woven tightly nothing's going to get in except the air and if you don't feel safe with just that they also have linens that line the whole thing so you just close the curtains you have 100 percent privacy but the whole point is like you're in nature and this gives you the feeling of actually being a part of it as a to away from it yeah this is why anyone should book this place because as soon as you walk out from your room you get this beautiful drop that stunning view of the mountains up here in northern Cebu and it's just mesmerizing you have two chairs here where you're able to sit back enjoy the view listen to nature but wow, I mean, I need to show you guys this view. When we say they thought of every little thing from like, seats for two people, the bed, the bed elevated, the netting, the hats, zapper, my, aka my light sword. Um, we mean it. They thought of everything. This place is tiny, but it's equipped. And also, what we haven't shown you yet is we actually have a kitchen downstairs. So this is a two-level treehouse. If you decide to stay here at the farm, you get not only your accommodation cover, but you also get your breakfast and dinner included. So that's really nice to know that your food is covered. And they have a great selection of things, of, of things to eat and drink. However, if you come here and you want to cook your own, they actually have a full-fledged kitchen on the first floor. You live up above. guys. You have a fridge. Oh, and a fan, don't forget. We have our cutlery. We have, a, oh. Sorry. Oh, honey. Um, be good, be very kind. Never say a bad thing about Brittany. I'm just kidding. Or walkie talkie so we can talk to the front. <clears throat> nope. Anyway, it works. Your vinegar, your cooking oil, your salt. No, that's sugar. Cups, also filtered water, which is really nice. This really good burner. Like there's really nothing you want in a kitchen that's not already here. And the fact is, this is inclusive. You don't you don't have to ask them for extra nothing. Like they provide everything for you. You may be wondering where we're gonna go pee and poop tonight. So let me show. If you're not wondering, I'm letting you know anyway, guys. <laughs> it's kind of an important thing. Remember, you guys, you signed up to be part of this family. So we're gonna be as open and candid as we can because that's life and everyone poops. Oh, this is actually really okay a poop of the view and you got your cool lamp you have your shower with hot water which is really nice let's show you the best part this is our own private path to what is you know what we'll just show you okay we haven't been here for like two hours and we've already seen creatures that like we've never came across <laughs> mm -mm, but hey <laughs> we signed up for this we signed I mean. up for this and we're in the we're in the all the forest and the jungle <laughs> it's like guys take a look at this spider it's like it resembles a stingray's body and it's like black and white I don't know what it is oh, the, colors, the coloring's pretty black and white <laughs> Wow. Voila. Literally our own little oasis. It's all spring water, so it's really fresh. And I hope it's cold because we've been sweating our butts off all day. And we gotta jump in this pool. Hoody hoo! This water's cold! <laughs> <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Ready for the gun show? 
Guys, look at my small wrist. I have like the tiniest wrist compared to well. Let's do wrist wrist comparison. Yeah, I have a small wrist. I'm a I have a man wrist. I'm a boy. I'm a man. I'm a real boy. I'm not a girl. <laughs> okay. Let's, <laughs> let's get back to the show. The pool's pretty deep. It's, I'm I'm five seven, five eight on a good day. But you can see he's like right above my chest. And well, you know, he's taller than me, so. I'm five. No, I'm. No, you're six foot. 5'11. Five 5'11. Eleven. Five eleven. The pool temp though is. No, I'm qua. six foot. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> six foot. No, I'm six feet. I'm six feet tall. Yeah. Six feet. Okay, quality of the pool, the water, 10 out of 10. I don't know if we've showed you guys yet in the video yet, but look at the, like, the tents that are here. There's, bring your family here. They will thank you. Like, your friends. I think we should get some friends together and come do this. Yeah. <gasps> okay. 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 You heard it here first. Okay. I have an idea. We have an idea. We have Maybe an idea. if we can get a few people together, maybe we'll all just come here and do like a fun night. Cause there's like campfire, there's music, there's this pool. Guys, this is the type of experience and stay that we've we've been wanting to for like the past two years. We haven't because usually they're super expensive and the quality is not always that great or they're booked or the weather's bad or something interferes with it. But to finally be doing it, we're doing it in the Philippines. Guys, this is literally something Jose and I have been dreaming about since we've wanted to travel. This is one of those experiences that you see everyone else having that you're like oh my gosh one day i want to do we're finally doing it guys we're very thankful so we came down these steps and where you see those lights is our tree house uh lower level is the kitchen and then upper level is where we're staying We just told to sit down and have dinner and here's what we ordered on the bright side it looks delicious we ordered the vegetable shawarma and to be honest with you all I can't tell you the last time I had a five finger serving of vegetables it's been a while it's been too long it's been too long so I'm really excited and the pre presentation looks amazing I mean this is so cute and there's a butter rice underneath it. And obviously we had to order dessert. So we got some dessert on the way. Whew. So let's eat. It's like a, it's like a, it smells like a, like a chipotle bowl. It smells like teriyaki, doesn't it? It's vegetarian. It's so good. Make it already tasty. I'm in love. Oh I'm God. in love. They're not wow. thinking another one. Not even joking you. And like I was saying earlier, all your meals, well, your breakfast and your dinner are included with the accommodation if you do decide to stay here. And why not? The food's delicious. You get to escape to Mother Nature. And it's just you, your family and friends, and these beautiful mosquitoes hovering over you. Don't forget the spiders. And the spiders. really huge, fluffy, cute do um, rabbits, which speak, they have dogs in the premises, but they're not here right now. You guys, just walking out from your bedroom to this. I can't explain it. My inner child is like thriving right now. And if I'm whispering, it's because I don't know why. It's just, it's very quiet out here. Nothing but nature. But like, guys, you hear every insect, every animal. It's beautiful. And for the first time in... I don't know how long, I'm actually like taking the time to look up the sky 
and it's so clear and stargaze. Like, I don't remember the last time I looked at stars, to be quite honest with you. Oh, it's lightning now, heat lightning. It's beautiful. It's that time. Time to revisit our childhood and live up to those camp nights my mom never let me go to on summer because she never trusted me with adults or other kids around. You ready? Let's go. This is such a childhood dream. Ugh. Our own campfire. Now let me go show you the s'mores that we're going to be making and tell me what's wrong with the picture. Let's go. You Everything right first. S'more, you would know that you always have your fluffy, white, spongy marshmallows. Hershey bar. Now for this one. I went all over Robinson's asking for golden Graham crackers and they kept leading me to this. We're about to have some honey butter <laughs> cracker. The first task we gave ourselves was to go out and search for a stick so we could roast some marshmallows. Here's mine. And then here's mine. You know, an actual stick that you can stick inside fire long enough, Jose. We're off to a good start already. <laughs> oh yeah, gooey gooey marshmallow, melted dark chocolate on a honey butter cracker. Mm. Okay guys, no campfire is complete without a scary story. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'll let you begin. There was one night when two boys decided to stay at a homestay deep inside the jungle. I'm kidding, we're not doing ghost stories. <laughs> if you wanna to be spooked, go look at our pictures of us waking up in the morning. <laughs> It's not good. It's pretty scary. Yeah, we can't tell a scary story knowing that we're the only two here, so I can't go to sleep with one eye open. To be fair, there's a security guy roaming the the grounds, but um, yeah, I don't want to scare him. This is job. <laughs> we're good. We're, we're good. getting spooked ourselves over we're here. Good. But guys, this is a great first day, and we can't wait to share more about the farm tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Alibe Farm and to start off this beautiful day figure we serenade you all with a beautiful song originally written by William Latrell. Today's a special day, oh yes it is. It's Jose's 30th birthday, oh yeah it is. Got a day full of planned things. But the first thing we're gonna do is blow a cake. So thank you for coming and watching us. It means a lot to both of us. That's where the song's gonna end. All of you that know how to play guitar, do not judge. <laughs> Freestyle. Bada boom, ba ba ba, bada boom, ba ba ba. Okay. First and foremost, I slept like a baby. Well, I woke up to like really, 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 really heavy rainfall, but still. I, on the other hand, did not sleep like a baby. My body was at rest, but my mind was fully woke with all the sounds surrounding us that kept me up all night. I'm so sweaty. One of the cool things about El Hibi Farm is that the owners actually, Marvin and his life partner, Cheryl, bought this land. It used to be farmland many, many, many years ago and sat here pretty vacant for multiple years. 
but they work in architecture and interior design, hence what you see makes perfect sense. But anyway, it's a very self-sufficient farm, guys. So they grow their own fruits and their own spices and their own herbs, and then they have a cafe here. They have their own chicken coop. Like everything on the land is used to supply either the housing, the cafe, the water is, comes from a natural spring source, which is housed been the source for water for people in this area for generations. Guys, they're doing a great job here. And everybody that works here is actually from the neighborhood. They're local. So it's also bringing in jobs, giving them stuff. So props to you guys for doing that. They have hammocks set up in different locations just to help you like decompress, look up stargaze, all that stuff. So it's not just about being away from the city. It's about like really just taking in the nature and getting very zen and appreciating the soundtrack that is every insect in the world, apparently. But Okay, Mother Teresa coming in zen. Honey, it is about mind, body, and soul. Love and light. So when we were talking about their little irrigation system, guys, look, they have it set up so the water continually is going all throughout the farm, watering it. And there are all the spices and herbs, like ironweed, oregano, cadian. Oregano who? Oregano. They have sage. I'm gonna need to take some to go for you. They have spearmint, cranberry. Ooh, what? A bubble gum? As you guys can tell, we're very competitive with each other. We've never played badminton, but today uh, we're gonna I have find a out. Correction. Well, clearly has an advantage. We're gonna find out who's the better person at playing badminton. Let's go. Even on the play it. Ah. <laughs> All right, next one. No, it's mine. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You'd think I'd be good at this since I'm Mexican, but I'm really bad at soccer. In this next area is actually, it's really cute. So it's kind of the last physical building on the premises right at the moment, but it's more like a community room where you can just come, play cards, shoot pool, play bingo, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's, it's a very well thought out space. We'll show you. Oh, and take your shoes off before you come in. All right. How did that go? Not too good? <laughs> oh! And that's how you, that's how you play. Hey guys. <laughs> It's the end of our little stay here. And I just want to say a special thank you to Marvin and your life partner, Cheryl. Thank you guys for inviting you, us guys. here. We've had the best time. And to our subscribers, I want to say this from the, from the very beginning. We were invited to stay here by the kindness of Marvin and Cheryl. However, they made it very clear that if there are any suggestions, any issues, anything you think should be corrected, like. Put it in the video, let people know, mm -hmm. and that's how they know. And guys, everything we're saying is just the honest truth. It's true. And I can say, probably, that after this trip, we're walking away with our Boy Scout YouTube badge for our first ever camping experience. And we couldn't be any more grateful to have done it here at Alkibi Farm because just the overall experience was awesome. The staff, the food, the lounge the amenities like if you're trying to look for an escape in when you're in Cebu book here you can book through Airbnb yes. or through their Facebook or Instagram account we'll link those accounts down below in the description box yeah nothing was left untouched they thought of every little detail and for that we are beyond grateful and thank you for letting us live our 
our Boy Scout dream because <laughs> yeah. we're in our 30s now. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, exactly. I'm 30 now. Exactly. So it's it's really nice to be able to like live a dream that we've always wanted to do. It's true. So thank you to every single person that we have encountered or talked to at Alhibi Farms. It's true. We thank, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And to our subscribers, guys, bring come here. Bring your friends. Bring mm -hmm. your family. Like this is the perfect getaway. And guys, you've seen the video. It's more than worth it. This is about memories. And this is a really good one to add to our memory book. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for our upcoming adventure videos. Until next time. You guys, we're excited. All right, bye, guys. Bye.